you know, the, I guess in between the lines, it sounds like the uh, Airbnb is trying to um, really promote uh, midterm stays to long term stays on their platform. Yeah, I uh, I always pay attention to like what's going on in the news. It seems like the people, the midterm people are kicking their ass like they're taking their money off platform. <laughs> So the, the the article, you know, the art, the Yahoo article before the release came out, a Yahoo article was dropped and was written and Yahoo Finance. They said, "Hey, Airbnb stocks down six percent." They were like, "It's because of a," uh, he said, "their their top hosts, meaning the top up upper echelon of hosts, are competing with Airbnb. They're competing with them." Uh, so, and you start to see a lot of people getting into the midterm rental game, um, and most you know people. Some people, you know, they get their midterms on platform, but they know starting to see, it seems like Airbnb is noticing a lot of midterm is being, it's taken off their platform. So it seems like they are, one of the things they're doing is reducing fees for over 28 sta- 28 days, which is a cool thing. Um, one thing I, one thing is I've never really liked people booking long-term because, you know, they still have to collect money from the guest. They don't have to pay up front. So you're basically on a payout rotation, but uh yeah, that was interesting. I I noticed the same thing. Yeah, I think they I think they're more or less targeting new new guests, kind of like what you said at the beginning. Because I think I think their guest retention is the problem. You know what I mean? 